shamefully brazen act caught on tape in Hisar, where a man was caught molesting a girl in broad daylight. You guys wait, hold on, hold on. Were you guys waiting around to see if you could <laughs> be live on TV? Yes. No. Is that what you were waiting? Not you, but yes. <laughs> you were, seriously? Yes. The outcry against sexual crime is reaching a fever pitch. But that's not stopped this shameful man from molesting a girl in broad daylight. Caught on tape, this man is seen following a woman unabashedly. Showing no fear of law, the man pulls the woman to her side and harasses her. A college-going girl was harassed openly by four men in Bangalore's metro. Two former college football players now facing decades in prison found guilty of sexually assaulting a female student in a dorm room at Vanderbilt University. And this evening, a new case, a star swimmer now charged at another school. ABC's Ryan Smith on the new focus on the culture of college campuses. Warning people living near Park Rose High School to be on the lookout for anyone suspicious. This after a 16-year-old girl says she was sexually assaulted on her way to school yesterday. Senior defense leaders were on Capitol Hill today to give testimony regarding the ongoing issue of sexual assault in the military. Chairman of the Joint Chiefs, General Martin Dempsey, told the Senate Armed Services Committee the job of a service member is dangerous enough and there should be no fear of sexual assault within the ranks. The defendant sat in stunned silence as the verdict was read. We, the jury, find the defendant, Corey Lamont Beatty, um, guilty of aggravated rape. 16-year-old girl was walking here to Park Rose High School when this attack happened. Now Portland police have stepped up their presence around the high school. Former Vanderbilt University football players Corey Beatty and Brandon Vandenberg. Guilty of aggravated rape. Both found Passenger, guilty no, the of metro on security came sexual to the assault. rescue. Uh, the CCTV footage of the that incident was in speaks volumes every day. about how women the jury in this country are living on the edge when it comes to the rape. Ask why you would, would want to do something like that. Uh, I feel like it's because he's wearing the shit. Quite substantial. No, seriously. Why? I mean, it's a disgusting thing to say. It's degrading to women, and you were really going to do it. You would humiliate me on live television? Not you. Are you actually filming this? Well, because you know what? I'm yeah, sick yeah. of this. I get this every single day, 10 times a day I'm by rude of guys like I'm you. sick of it. Like the hilarious. I don't care what Treat. you say. It has okay. nothing to do with you. It has everything to do with uh, when, you. Uh, when you talk. We know that lasting change begins by changing the behaviors that can lead to sexual assault. I want assault. to remind other victims of sexual violence, you are not alone. You are not to blame. It's a crime that demands accountability and consequences.